Mystery gift, huh? They were actually wrapped for a white elephant for a family reunion that got canceled because of COVID last year. So instead of opening up, we're just like, we're putting them in here. <laughs> morning. Do you have the power cord for your radio? What's that? Do you have the power cord for it? Um, uh, sure, sure I'll, um, did you bring that from Tom? Yeah. Do you have the cord? Is there a cord that goes to that? Uh, just this. Well, there is. It's batteries. Okay. I think it, I might have originally had a, <clears throat> a power oh. cord back here, but yeah, I could do batteries too. Yeah. Would you do five for it? Uh, we'll do eight. Eight sounds like a deal. If you have to change. Oh, I've got it, yeah. <laughs> I got it covered. <laughs> There you go. Thank All you. Right, thanks. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, how are you? Doing great. How are you? There's a couple in here that don't match the rest. Okay. Um, I don't know if you'd sell those separate. There's a wedge. No, I won't. They're just they're just in there wrong. Which ones? Here's a pitching okay. wedge and a five iron. Okay. And then this doesn't go. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad. I think everything else is, everything is part else of that. Yeah, I think it's part of the set. Hey, you know what? You really helped me. Thank oh, good. No real. problem. <laughs> yeah. I'd probably be like, what the? What happened to my clubs? Yeah, no kidding. So, is this a set then? Yeah, that's okay. a good oh, kid set. That's a good kid set. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Have a good day. How much is your weight bench? Um, 25. 25. I'll take the weight bench. I'm going to get these too. I'll set them right here.
How much is the backpack? Ten. Ten. And then what's that price? Three. Three. Okay. I owe twenty-five for the bench, five for the skates is thirty. Thirty-three. Would you do five on this? I I think she said no because it's her daughter's. Heather, the girl in the black, uh, the, it's hers. The okay, is the other stuff hers too? Yes. Okay. I think, I think I'm getting all your stuff. I owe you 25 and 5 is 30, 33, and I was wondering if you'd do 5 on that since I'm getting some other stuff. Um, gosh, it's for my daughter. I don't, I wish I, I know somebody asked me that earlier. I just can't. It's just 10. I mean, she just, she's just, I don't, I'm not going to go down on that yet. Okay. Says, sorry. No, it's okay. I'll give you the 10 for it. So, okay, yeah, 43. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Oh. Are you selling your Dyson? I am, but I'm just getting ready to clean it out because it has hair in it and I didn't realize What it. are you asking for it? I'll take $20 for it. It works okay? It, it does. It's just, uh, I mean, it works great. We just had dogs. And yeah. I, it's, I don't know, it's hard on the steps now. The, the cord, when you pull up the thing, is cut. Morning. Good, how you doing? Do you have any order video games like Nintendo or anything like that? No, nope, you're like the third person to ask me. <laughs> I believe it. Mystery gift, huh? Yeah. They were actually wrapped for a white elephant for a family reunion that got canceled because of COVID last year. So instead of opening up, we're just like, we're putting in here. <laughs> you know what? One, two, three, four, five. Curiosity is going to get the best of me. I'm just going to buy them all. <laughs> Can't tell you what it is, though. <laughs> yeah, it's a surprise. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Hey, what's up, man? Hero. I'm going to have to get ahead of you guys. Yeah, we saw you enter uh, Cherokee or whatever. Oh, yeah. There's neighborhood sales everywhere today. It's nuts. Were you in Mason, bad, though? Yeah, I started in Cherry Brook. I, yeah, think. I think that's, that's where we were. Nice. You guys doing good? Uh, Sorry, Brook wasn't good. Yeah, not as good as we hoped. Yeah. Yeah, I think on the listing it said like 200 plus houses and there was only like five that Right, sales. yeah. <laughs> There'll probably be a lot more tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, you did that in no, no, they don't. Be, yeah, she's on two CDs. No worries at all. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Who sales this? Let me pay you, ma'am. I owe you uh, 10 for the glove. I've got five rackets for a total of 10. So that's 20. And then I've got one of these for five and one for three. I owe you $28. Okay, you, I'm going to trust your man. Okay. <laughs> this is like brand new. Yeah, it's a nice glove. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I was trying to figure it out if it was a catcher's glove or not. No, that's like an outfielder's glove. Regular. Yeah. Okay. The catcher's glove is more like a big circle. Bigger. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'll keep looking around. Here, I can take it. Oh, okay, great. It's for the uh, lawn chair right there, laying okay. it against the garage. Yep. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys, I'm back at the office. I found a lot of stuff today. I got everything pulled out. I'm going to show you what I found. I got some baby gates at one sale. I've sold these before. They're called like panel gates. So each one of these long pieces is a panel and they're normally sold like, you know, a set of six, like a six panel gate. But this one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then there's four more over there. So there's 12. So I could probably sell those as like, you know, two different six panel gates, which is what I think I'm gonna do because those just like pop out pretty easy. I paid $10 total for all that and I think I can sell each six panel for like 25, something like that. I've sold them before locally. I got this really cool lawn chair for a dollar and if you guys don't know, these vintage like woven lawn chairs do pretty good. Let's see if I can get this thing open. A lot of times I see these and the material is just like, you know, Totally broken or ripped or torn, whatever. But this one's in pretty good shape. So I'm definitely going to uh, sell that local when I do a sale here at the shop. At that same sale, I got all these tennis rackets for $2 each. These are all Wilson Hyper Hammers. I think every single one of them is, actually. This one's a Hyper Hammer 6.2. This one is a 5.0. This is just a hammer. Another 6.2 and another hammer. So I think those should sell for about 20 bucks each on eBay. I also got two coolers at that sale and the prices were just so good on them. I didn't even bother trying to talk down. This one was three bucks, just really clean vintage coolers. And this one over here was five bucks. It's a little bit bigger. And inside here is a glove that I bought at that sale. This is a Mizuno 13 inch uh, vintage model. Even though it's the vintage model, it's a newer glove. And it's really clean. Like, I don't think this got much use. I paid 10 bucks for that. I think I can sell that for about 25 on eBay. I got all this stuff at one sale. This is a pair of inline skates with the original box. And I don't think that they were ever really used. They only wanted five bucks for them, which is a killer deal. And I'm looking at these wheels. I don't think these ever got worn. So I'm probably just gonna take these and play it against sports. Also got this incline decline bench. Paid 25 bucks for that. I'll sell that locally. I should get about 50 or 60 for it. Also picked up this Converse All-Star Looney Tunes backpack. They were asking 10 bucks. She wouldn't really budge on the price. So I paid the 10 bucks. I might have overpaid. I might be able to get 20 or 25 bucks for this. We'll see. But it was just too cool to leave it there, you know. I got this killer Spirit of St. Louis radio. I've sold this before, but it's been a number of years. So I can't remember what I got for it. This one was not in great shape. Uh, it's missing the um, adapter back here, but it does have a battery compartment on the bottom, so it should take batteries. But this thing is just awesome. It's made to look like the cockpit of an airplane. It's got a CD player. You can see the CD player is a little like uneven, like it's not sitting in there quite right, but hopefully it works at least. See, like I'm trying to close it, it's not really lined up. So that is unfortunate. Um, we've got a cassette player see if that ejects 
properly. It's slowly opening. And then all the knobs and everything for tuning to AM, FM radio. Yeah, this doesn't want to close too well. So yeah, not in great shape, but still a really cool piece. Um, I ended up getting it for $8. In the condition it's in, I might get 50 I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to test it out and see if it actually works. Also got a Globe for $3 and this Milwaukee battery charger for 5 All right, guys. Um, probably the coolest thing that I found today was that sale where they had five things wrapped. And each box said, mystery gift. <laughs> One dollar. <laughs> and I thought it would be fun to bring these home and open them with Whitney. Oh my god. Okay. So the lady said that these were like some kind of white elephant dirty Santa gift for oh, like be Christmas great. of 2020. But they never got to do it <laughs> because of the pandemic. So did, did they remember what was in No, there? they didn't know. So they had five of them. I bought all five. You gotta open that oh, one. Oh, I'm totally amazed. Whoa! Oh, I actually love this! <gasps> that I is miss, awesome! I miss Yasiel Pui! That's a great bobblehead. That is an amazing bobblehead! Dang, for a dollar. And we too. don't have this one. We have it. Oh, just Yeah, we have I it don't downstairs. Have it. It's still though, that's awesome for a dollar. Oh, I love it. Okay, what's next? Right, let's see. Our white elephant gifts are very like silly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So far, these are like sure. practical. They are. All right, this is multi use organizer. organizer, food safe. So, like five little or four that's little. That's worth a dollar. Things. Yeah, that's cool. That's totally worth a dollar. All right, all right, what's next? These are better white elephant gifts than. <laughs> right, than what we do. We, we have like bad stuff. Oh. That looks like a five below thing. Oh my gosh. A donut coffee mug. A whole new way to enjoy your coffee. That's and it says a see-through hole so you can, oh my god. I think this okay. is a bobblehead, so I'm gonna open this. Okay, because the size. Right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Another tweet. Another Yossi Up Week bobblehead. We can have a family of tweets. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right, what's this one? Last one? Last one. <gasps> Another, oh wait, this one's open. Ooh. This has some craftsmanship. Yeah, that's nice. I feel like we should give some of these away at the reseller rally as like That's a good idea. As, I like that. As the gifts. This is actually really cool. That is nice. This is a nice mug. It is a nice mug. I'm not gonna lie. It might be difficult to drink out of. I'm looking at the top and it's oh, got like yeah. these little ridges and stuff. It just <clears> makes it more <throat> interesting. Yeah. Frosted donut hole. So did I do good for I, five dollars? This is worth five dollars. Yeah. Good find. Not bad. Thanks. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.